Well, Fiesta Extra Thin with skin to skin raw feel. So, I'm talking about Fiesta condoms, okay? Um, Fiesta Dotted, uh, if you want it rough and fun. I don't know, Cyril, what, which one? I don't know if you guys. Um yeah, you rough and fun, rough please. and smooth. Uh, no, rough, rough and fun, please. Uh, thank you. Rough and fun. Uh, or Fiesta rough. Extra Thin with skin to skin uh, feel. That's skin a to skin. Is, is, that, is that what you recommend? Skin to skin. Yes, yeah, skin to skin. Skin yeah, to skin. I, I don't know. Hey, hey, Miss, Miss, Miss G, are you um, skin, a skin to skin? Why did they say the condom is female? <laughs> no, it's it's. I mean, the the recipient of the condom, the, mm. the the recipient, the end user of the condom. In this case, end user, you know, not no. really like the person who's going to use it no, from the yeah, production. I think she's the beneficiary. The beneficiary. <laughs> I think she's pointed out a very important conversation That's. because, you know, these days we don't see female condoms in town. Oh, it's there. It's yeah. actually ask. Uh, you no, know, it's not. It's not there as much as the milk condoms. That, um, it's not there as much prefer. as the milk condoms. Like yeah. when you walk into your farmers, you remember them. Yeah. Do you, do you prefer? So that means that he he's a, a frequent. No, 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 no. Oh no, no. You see, he says it's when you I walk. I mean, not in, to say, say we, have, we have a guest in our midst. We have a guest. We're going to come to the guest shortly. We are enjoying the conversation. Oh. You know what? He didn't say. I hear when you, he said when you walk, so he's certain uh-huh. that when he walks into no, no, the no, pharmacy. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I go to buy but, but G, are you, uh, are you, uh, would you prefer a female Fiesta condom? I pass that level or? whether they are preferring or not. Oh, Charlie! <laughs> Anymore. Oh, we is so, so now it's just the advice to hey. those who do not have the, no, the right to. Uh, what to be careful? It's a reaction. I am so, be careful. So, so the, the <laughs> if you want it rough and fun, uh-huh. I'm only telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Rough yes. and fun. So for, also, for those who are listening to us, rough and fun. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. time to you know protect I mean, yourself. Oh, for me, I'm not a rough and fun person, so that would not work for me. I I like to take it smooth and classy. Okay. Yeah. So I go for Fiesta Classic for a gentle mm. and smooth feel. You know, I was going to yes. ask, what, what music do you listen to when oh, you're young? Oh, Charlie! Um, um, uh, uh, Ricky, are you sure we're on course? Oh, no. <laughs> that, that cannot be for Classic. <laughs> it's for the rough <laughs> and what? Rough, the rough riders. <laughs> yeah, rough riders. No one there. They are super. Yes. I, I, I think uh, Black Horse. Um, uh, so Forty five. Is, is for classic people. You know? Really? Yeah. No. Just imagine. That, so you know, no, no, no. you know what Black James Sherry. also telling us? He's he's in between rough. Sexy, no, 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 classy, but Missy, you know, why have you no. changed the tonation of your like you are? Because I'm enjoying. She says she's enjoying the conversation. Ah, you are channeling your inner Akuma Mama Zimbi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mira, 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 mira. So imagine listening to Black Sherry's uh, Soja, 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 mm. using a Fiesta classic for right. a gentle and smooth mm. feel, you know, and you making know, love to the one you love. It's morning radio. You know, you know what was coming to my mind. I was, I was, I was. No, we are in India. I was thinking of the strokes as it related to the song. Yeah, people are listening to us. Globally. Did they come? Did they so, come? So, the, and I imagine <laughs> the strokes as as com- the, the rhythm of the song. So just, so just, so just. So just. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can tell you that the <laughs> four to piece here. Did they come? Did they come? Did they come? Did they come? <laughs> That's not all, though. See what I see. Fiesta <laughs> doom so. Let him say some. That's his. <laughs> Fiesta doom so mm. for a playful glow in the dark experience. That's <laughs> for those who don't can't find it. <laughs> hey. Zero. It looks like that one is. Mm. Zero. The corner has got GPS coordinates. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can. It, it can locate. Trade, it can locate. <laughs> yes. Yes. So. Uh, why are you busy on your phone? Yes. Uh, well, they you in jail. I don't know. He's like not finding the right song. Nothing you didn't read for them, my brother. You. Nothing you no. didn't read. I'm watching an overweight dog lose weight. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then there's Fiesta <laughs> Strawberry and Fiesta Fruity wow. for a sweet scented fun. Mm. For a sweet scented fun, you understand? And mm. then there's also Fiesta Vibe with vibrating ring to rock and well. Oh, Charlie! Oh, I finished. <laughs> I finished. Rock my body. Like, Shout out to Wiala. Oh, oh, oh. That, this, that one you have to you have to play Wiala's song. Yeah. Rock, Rock my, my body. body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and and to share the fun with friends, choose Fiesta Party Pack. Hey. Say it like us, like us. We are Wait here. Wait, so that, no, one, like, that, that one you have to that, play. How, how does that work? That one you have to play. We are going for. It, it's a Friday night. It's a party pack. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, wait, so, so we we do. Do you want to know something frightening? I get. Oh, Charlie. Um, I get what? it though. So like you're going to maybe a partner yeah. 
friends eh, so like jay and partner you partner me my partner she her partner swing it. No, no. so like we go i don't think that's what it is i think uh-huh. it's if you were let's say going on like a trip with a bunch of friends oh. you would buy the pack and no, then no 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 we, we wouldn't take that you guys one. are a bit too <laughs> so we finish, controversial we finish, we finish dinner <laughs> we, do, we have some yeah. drinks i'm like oh tell the guys i bought a box for everybody <laughs> yeah, can you imagine no. <laughs> No, um, what I think they're saying is like us in this. No, 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 no. Maybe us in this room. No, 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 we decide that all of us want no. to, you know. Oh no. Then, then I give you. Then I give you. I give you. I give you. I give you. Then we lock the door and then we all. So, anyways, grab your favorite Fiesta condom from any pharmacy, chemical shop, or mart near you with Fiesta. She go want more. Oh. Yes, yes. She, she go want more. Shout out to our man. Oh wow! Like she I wants. mean, hey, uh, I know, right? Th- know this she wants more. <laughs> This has been the best morning. Kessie, you know, yeah, Kessie, um, I feel like it's a good thing. You're the Casa Codia boss. No, that's a pit. No, 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 I'm just being. being frightened. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just oh, being. Okay. Uh, what do you call it? So yeah, because it. Great, the great, conversation great. orgy is going to get bigger and greater, I need to introduce our guests, our experts, mm-hmm. who are here sure. to delve <laughs> deeper into the conversation. Our seasoned experts. Our seasoned experts Ever to green. delve deeper into the conversation because they have a very good understanding of what we are about to discuss and experience. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> because when we are done, you go want more. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Charlie. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Also, yes. Oh, Pono. Also, also, also. Charlie Treasure and Digital Collection. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we are at the Alpha Hour. Also, also. Of the show. We wish the Alpha. No, Alpha is a word. Uh, that defines. Hour is a word. First, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are the first hour. No, we are the first hour of the big conversation. We are the Alpha Hour of the big conversation. Yes. Madam, say behave yourself. Yes, and we are sitting in the form of a ring. <laughs> and it's glowing at the edges of the ring. No, he can misbehave because he has fears. Anyway, let's get serious now. So, um, <laughs> yesterday we started a conversation with regards to the hostility industry in Ghana. Now the influx of you know, people from the diaspora and uh, tourists, people coming in day in, day out. Um, it's key that we need to offer a certain level of service that would appeal you know, to what people are used to or what, is what people actually deserve. We started the conversation yesterday off the back of also what had um, been circulating on social media with Charlemagne the God and uh, Jessica uh, Clark Fund, who had shared their opinions and experiences they had during the December in Ghana. Now, uh, y- yesterday, we're honored to have... Um, the G, the PRO, I beg your pardon, from GTA. Um, Olili, please. The, yeah, the name was um, Deputy PRO. Deputy for PRO. GTA. Yeah. Yes. And uh, that's uh, Mr. Kokusi. Mm-hmm. Atakakra. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, Miss best friend. Who gave us insights into the preparations that GTA made before mm. the December in Ghana, as well as the entire year. Uh, are we going to have him again this morning? We are hoping to. Hoping, hoping to. to yes. But we have in our mess this morning. Um, a travel writer and a Ghanaian tourism expert, and she owns a tour agency and hosts individuals and groups across the country all year round. And her name is uh, Majwa Asabia Yeboa. Welcome to the show. Hello. Yes, uh, I'll need you to voice, I'll need you to come out. Okay. <coughs> the key word is to come out and be vocal so they can hear, okay. feel, is and experience better? you. This is better? Way better. Thank okay. you very much. And of course, we also have Maureen. Um, Please help me out with the surname again. Ati Bawoni. Ati Bawoni. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, she's also a customer ex- uh, service experience, uh, sorry, a customer experience professional and the founder of Bawoni Consult. Uh, th- you can tell us more about Bawoni Consult when we get into details okay. on that. Yeah, we'd we'll love to we'll love to hear that. But at least uh, we know you have you two here with us this morning. Thank you very much for honoring our invitation. Welcome to the show. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Now HR is watching, so we have to put on the cap. <laughs> 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 
Um, where do we even start this from? Sorry, I'm in a different space now. Um, you, Ulele, you please help me you out. You better come um, on, bro. You better come you on, bro. yourself up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe we can kick off with your experiences, you know, uh, personal experiences and your opinions in the entire December and GH package, you know, that Ghana presented to the world. Uh, and then we can look at the areas where we can chop it up and look at our flaws and where we can, you know, glue them back and then uh, make it a better area, a, you know, hostility area that we can all enjoy its benefits. So let me start off with you. Okay. Um, so, I mean, for me, mm-hmm. uh, I, I feel like I outgrew the Dirty December a few years ago. <laughs> but I when kind you say of Dirty up- December, the event? The it- event? So, uh, like, no, I mean all- the, the whole uh, experience or like okay. all the events that happened. Okay. It's a bit too chaotic for me. But I do watch from the background. I have friends that are very involved in it mm-hmm. and have events. And, um, I mean, I went to a few events. I went to uh, Polo Beach mm. once. And How was it? It was wonderful. So I went earlier on. It okay. wasn't as busy. I, I enjoyed the fact it wasn't too crowded. Um, but for me, one of them, the main issues that I have with the, the whole December and all the events that they have is, like, safety. You know, mm. I feel like it gets too chaotic. I don't necessarily see that there are any contingency plans if something goes wrong, which is why I just avoid them. And we saw what happened with, I think it was Afro Nation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's cut, unfortunate yeah. because every year it gets more and more intense. Mm. And I think that, you know, the authorities and the regulatory boards need to do more about in, making sure and ensuring that if someone has an event, there are certain things that they have to follow, certain standard operating procedures to protect the people that are going to the events, but also to protect what we're trying to build in Ghana in terms of tourism and hospitality. Mm. So that's just my views in terms of December in Ghana. But for you to say you uh, possibly or you are outgrowing, you know, the December, what I think we're we're hitting the peak of this. We haven't even hit the peak yet. We have not. We haven't. And I think what, what we would need is more diversity in terms of what we offer. So not everyone wants to go to a concert. Not mm-hmm. everyone wants to be in a bar. Not everyone wants to be out late until or until six in the morning. Mm-hmm. Some of us want more low key, relaxing things that we can do, where we can talk and hear what other people are saying, mm-hmm. and it's not too loud. So we did. We do need more diversity. We need more things that happen outside of Accra. Mm-hmm. Um, I do think resorts and establishments outside of Accra can take advantage of it. You know, get shuttle buses mm-hmm. to get people from you know Accra Mall to their different locations, so people don't have to think about driving. Or people can travel in groups and set up different um, entertainment hotspots in different mm. areas of the country. Mm. Um, so that's what I would want to see when it comes to tourism in December. Exciting. Actually, it it's, uh, dovetails into something Cyril said that possibly it's music is what we are selling biggest. But we haven't realized that it's mm-hmm. music. Uh, we're talking about not just um, you know tourism in the, the globe, the bigger um, tourism conversation, maybe just music we should be looking at, but we'll come to that uh, th- that detail. Let me come to you, Majwa. Okay, so... Your um, dirty December. <laughs> How dirty was it? Actually, I worked the whole time, so... Oh, wow. I mean, that's that's when I work. That's when people you come into the country. <laughs> Sorry, our, our, our market yeah, says cash out. I guess out, so. So, <laughs> so uh, it was work, sleep, work, sleep. I, I didn't go anywhere. What work? Yeah, detail uh, it for us. So tours a lot of tours and specifically cape coast and every i got tired mm. <laughs> wow because i think I've, i was ranting about this the other day people don't want to do anything mm-hmm. beyond going to the castle mm-hmm. or going to every and it's not as if we don't have the options we do we have options i personally have tours all the way to the north nobody wants to go outside Accra. Mm. everything is so centered they don't want to leave the city even Cape Coast, it's always like, how long are we going to be there? Can I still go out in the evening? You know, so there's, there's a lot we can do. Mm. I, I don't even want to go into the... What, what were the reasons why... <clears throat> I beg your pardon. What were the reasons why people were just, you know, focusing on these two areas you mentioned, uh, you know, Ibri I, and... I think uh, it's also about uh, what they hear before they come into town. So mm-hmm. let's say, um, if you go to Ghana right now, things to do in Ghana, Cape Coast is like on the top of it. Mm. It is, and wow. it's an important site. I understand mm-hmm. that. But Every, there's more. I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't want to stay on toes here. There's nothing <laughs> in the gardens. I'm is sorry. it because you there's feel really maybe nothing the other at the gardens? I don't know why everybody wants to go there, but they want to go though. So we take them because mm-hmm. we're trying to make money. Mm-hmm. So, and it's not like we don't have the options. We do have. Every has like four different waterfalls alone. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Bosomasi waterfall. There's so many things <laughs> to there. do um, there. Um, yeah. Wow. But. It's so, uh, every, everybody comes to Accra to chill, you know, so they don't really want to see. I didn't have a single tour to the Volta region 
this December. Mm. Wow. And I was disappointed because there's a lot to do D mm. and see. So much. Let, let me chip in. So yeah. do you think this, is this, who, who, do, we, who do we blame, quote unquote, for, for this? Do we blame ourselves for centering everything here? Or oh, really? blame the people? I think it goes back to what she was saying. That we have to focus on creating events outside the city that would motivate. If we have an event somewhere on the Cater Beach mm. where you include, say, one day tour okay. of some of the sites. Right. That makes sense. Right. You know what I mean? When you say event, like a big event, like say an Afro Chill Afro 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 Wild the Land. Yeah. You know Something. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's a beach. Right. There's a lot of resources in Keta alone mm. that right. can host at least 500 people mm. right. if they wanted to. Right. There's so many things they can do outside Accra, but everything is so central. And people come for these festivals. We understand that. Right. But it doesn't have to be so... Everything is in the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then everything just becomes one way. I, I, I was picking people up from the club straight to Tours because <laughs> they couldn't even get back to the hotel rooms <laughs> wow. to change. Wow. I know... Polo Beach Club, I was there like three times. We go wait for people with the bus. When they come out like 7 a.m., then, then we drive them to eat breakfast and go on tour. Wow. That was how much. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. So we need to do, and I don't even want to talk about how we need to improve the sites. I'm not, I'm not even going to. We need I to go there. No, I think I think because that is such a big problem. I have been yeah, known actually. to make a lot of controversial because they're like, you're in the business. That's your business. Yeah. No, you're I know. Business. They're like, you're in the business. You're not supposed to so say that. Instance, that's, that's even comes to the conversation of customer service. So she, yeah. has, she has no business with the state of, say, their brie gardens. But when she takes her client there, they, they get disappointed. Exactly. Yes. Everybody gets disappointed. It might affect her business. But then they, they, they see uh, online that you, you see, you know, that there's this the one pictures. famous walkway yeah. mm -hmm. where everybody takes nice photos, mm -hmm. so everybody wanna go. Like, and then no. when they get there, they're like, ah, I can, I can do more with this. Like, if if you know me, I've I've been travel writing for a long. I'm very passionate about travel. I I can create a package where you enjoy the Eastern region fully mm. in a day. They wanna go to the gardens though. What can you? So do? what do they do when you take them there? Photos. I mean yeah. that's the that, that's the thing now, right? It's photo ops, yeah. right? Mm. But my my, I guess the concern that I have is that like Ebury Gardens, for example. I think the last time I went there was 2016, mm. and I was so disappointed because there were like churches having their oh, little they still do. Prayer, thing, sessions. prayer sessions. They still, they still do, so. It was there was so much litter, and we have boards like GTA. You know, you, every garden has been there for so long. What are they doing to ensure that this place is like maintained, so that we, when we have visitors, they can go to these places? And you that's know, I, I would, I wouldn't want to hold brief for GTA, but let me just chip this in as a, just for extra knowledge that you know sometimes a lot of these sites are not owned by government mm. or owned by any government agency. Some are private, some are owned by but chiefs and all them. that. If there was a restaurant no, that was saying, cooking bad food, no, 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 hold on. Even though they don't own the restaurant, no, I'm just saying, as I'm, the body, no, they because, would no, no, because we I'm just saying that because well. I've Experience. Bro, no, DVLA because, doesn't own our cars. No, but no, if no, you no, misbehave, no, hold on, intervene. <laughs> hold on, I can give, I can cite they a thousand experiences for you that I've had because of the travel experience that I've had within the country. Mm, yeah. And I'm just saying, I'm not holding brief like my first tip. I'm not so holding brief for GTA. If, if, uh, then put it down. What I'm saying is that like, like <laughs> what I no, I'm also just because that's that's the no. Hold on, I'm answering uh, the place. question. I'm not done. I can't answer. I can't finish. <laughs> and so, and so you hear my answer, it will help you. Yeah. I'm saying that a lot of the sites I visited were owned, held, managed by chiefs and the community, um, and, the community and all yeah. that. And some of these conversations, they'll tell you that it's very, very difficult sometimes when both parties have to sit down and come to certain consensus and agreement yeah. because from historical background mm -hmm. to... It, it's a yeah. chain of muddy, not even political, muddy, historical, tribal beliefs, religion, yeah, spirits. A it's a lot, a lot of things. So sometimes you want to touch certain things People come with different um, views about it. And we have experienced this thing several times. I'll tell you what. We went all the way to Likpe in the Volta region, a place called the, the Six Caves of Likpe. I keep mm -hmm. saying this. Be. Be. <laughs> Be. Luck, luck. The cats have spoken, though. <laughs> 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 I'm going to for you to do. <laughs> we'll get, we'll I'm going to make one call. I'm going to make one call. No, when I, say, when I say the cats, I mean, no, we are on a Gen Z station. So I'm just saying, like, as soon as a dog, I mean, I like, get it. Like, my dog just spoke. My cat just spoke. You know? <laughs> I get it. What do do? <laughs> like, my G, my G. Okay, my G, my G. Mm. Yo, my homie. <laughs> 
my bra. Yeah, so like I'm saying, when we went to Lipe, I thought it was Lipe. I've been saying Lipe all these years. So when we went there, um, th this is a beautiful, there are six caves that you're going to go through in the mountain, around the mountain, within the mountain and all. It's a lovely experience, but the, it's very dangerous and there were no rails mm. or no nothing to help you walk oh, around. It's yeah. very, very dangerous. So we're asking that, so why haven't, you know, um, it looks very deserted. And it's exactly, the guy was telling me that, look, you can't just come and take over. It's a lot of history in this place and um, efforts have been made, but unfortunately, you know, predecessors and even look at, let me bring it down to road construction. Mm. Even in some central parts of the city, they are constructing roads and the people that are not allowing the roads to pass mm. there because of this and that and that and that. Mm. So you can imagine with tourism as well. Yeah. And some of the reasons that we face, I'm not saying for Ebri in particular, but I'm saying some of the reasons, we're even lucky to see Ebri where it is and how it is like mm. yeah. in the start. We are even lucky to see it as it is. Go down to Abusmas, not far from the gardens. Yeah. <laughs> you should go. It's a beautiful experience, but there, touch it. The true owners will wake up and come in, but I, I'm not the guest, though. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand. The reason I asked that question, whether it was particular, because she kept <coughs> saying that they charge. So I'm wondering where this money is going mm -hmm. to. I, I shared a story where I went, I was traveling uh, to the Volta region. Yeah. And my shock was that I got down to take a picture at the Adomi Bridge and I was issued a receipt. Yeah. Mm. They yes. Charge, they charged, they charged me for taking a picture yeah. at the Adomi Bridge. And I saw, yeah, yeah, with my phone, yeah. with is professional, which camera. You know, <laughs> so, so, uh, the Adobe yeah, yeah, so, that's, Adobe yeah. so that's what I'm asking that, yeah. you know, and with that, I think I saw a GTA yeah. uh, mm. receipt. Yeah, they do. Yes. So then I can say that, oh, GTA is collecting money from us for the Adomi Bridge. If anything's happening, you know, to that bridge, then we should be asking GTA, where is that money you're collecting from those who are taking just pictures yeah. there? You know, so when yeah. she said the charge, I want to know what where receipts the money? Uh, is my being sister. given. My sister, when I, when I brought, I brought <laughs> sees my sister, you know, yeah, someone is coming from. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they gave me a receipt book uh, uh, at the place. Mm -hmm. They gave me a receipt, a receipt mm -hmm. and they were going to charge me and I said wait this receipt looks like it's been lying down in this place <laughs> for, for centuries yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know and I was even worried if the money was really going to go to GT you know but should I, I, we be worried about that we should that is, no but what I'm saying is like it shouldn't even be a thought that crosses our mind yeah. like we should really have faith in the fact that these bodies because the reason why I bring up GTA is because mm. before you can even open a hospitality establishment mm. there's certain certifications that you have to get this to operate. Was saying yesterday. Mm. so Bishu they have saying access yesterday. to all this information so there's no, I don't feel like we should be making all these excuses because as long as you're operating and collecting money, you have an understanding that people are coming there to enjoy these different locations. There. Again, I'm not holding brief. Yeah. Hey. I go to. Hey, 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 this is Imo. Yeah, I'm not holding brief. Put it down. Put it down. The big tree. The big tree. The, big tree, um, the biggest tree in West Africa. Uh, the one in Oda. The one in Yeah. Go there. I, I went there on a Saturday and a Sunday. Two days, mm. day one, and I'm sorry to say this. Let me choke them. <laughs> hey, the dream has been big. You have to go two days. Guy. There's a kiosk. Uh -huh. I suppose they take money before they walk yeah. into mm. the tree. Uh -huh. So I didn't get receipts. And I asked the guy. He says the it's not available now. Mm. So let's go there and come. <laughs> We got there, and I kept on asking for, so this money that you're taking from us, where is it going to go to? Oh, say, see, you know, you know, those things. that like, We also work here. This is how we also, this is our livelihood, you know, stuff like that. And again, again to say that the authorities must possibly put people in place, 247, who are yeah. licensed and registered yeah. with, the, with them to yeah. monitor some of these things. You know, because people are also taking money on the side quietly for their own personal mm -hmm. gains and, and stuff like that. I've been to so many tour sites in this country. And you can imagine at every point they give you a new payment experience. Mm -hmm. mm. And you're even wondering if these monies are really getting mm -hmm. to I have been to, to literally GTA. all of them. I go back multiple times because of my job. And every time there's, a different experience. there's something new. Yeah. Mm. All the time. Maybe it's because of what you, you yourself, you answered the thing. You said some of these structures, they are not owned by these government agencies. So if somebody is working for a private um, uh, property owner, there's a different approach to it. That's why I keep saying that when these receipts are given, what is written on the receipts? So if it's a JJ and Sons Resort or, or uh, whatever, uh, what's it called? Uh, Adolf, Adolf's Resort. <laughs> yeah. You know, if it's, if it's your, your, your place, and I don't expect you to, you know, behave in the same manner that GTA will 
uh, 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 I expect GTA to behave. Yeah. Again, like she said, and I keep saying, I kept asking yesterday, who gives them the license to operate? Mm -hmm. Who is checking their operation to know that this operation is in line with, they keep saying, the standards? Mm -hmm. You understand? So that the customer experience will be as tailored as the standard they keep preaching. Yeah. That yeah. is my major problem with these sites. Which we are not, we're, we're now about to come to talking yeah. about the customer experience. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cereal, cereal. <coughs> my cat. <laughs> Hey. My dog. <laughs> no, he's in my no, no, today, today, today. My G. Uh, my G. The KK ones. The KK you know, I like 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 Maureen said. I think we are making a, a few um, excuses. excuses. For them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, when you when you when you get a hotel, and you want to know the quality you are supposed to expect in that hotel. There's a starring system. Mm -hmm. It's a yes. three-star hotel. It's a bed and breakfast. It's and a five-star. And yeah. you get reviews and you know that, okay, yeah. I'm going here to pay this for that experience. What has stopped the GTA from putting the starring system or any form of hierarchy mm -hmm. to these tourist sites? To say that maybe Cape Coast Castle is a five-star um, tourist, a tourist, tourist uh, yeah. location. Yeah. Um, Lease Resort is a one-star. This blah, blah, blah. Miss G's is a three-star. What has stopped them? Nothing. These people, whether or not it's owned by a private individual or it's a state property that the chiefs are taking care of, blah, 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 it still falls on your desk. Yeah. 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 You are still aware still of it. Mm -hmm. So your job as the, the, the head of the collective is to create a structure that the members of the collective can adhere to. Not about this person is not investing in their place. Uh, again, I don't if, want to hold brief. If the no. person is not, <laughs> if the person is not investing, if if I have standards, bro. Look, and you are not adhering to and the what's standards. That you which are which one was off? renovated by uh, by GT again? Uh, the, uh, which one? There was Zico Fridge or so. There was a waterfall that was renovated. Where the incident happened? Kintampo. Kintampo, yes. sorry, Kintampo waterfall. It was renovated. Uh, Elmina Castle, I think, because none of it is going. You see some. what you said? No, yeah. no, yeah. no, when yeah. the incident yeah. happened, there are times when I'm driving people to a place, I have to literally force them to use washrooms at filling stations because when we get there. There is no when my minister said that they're going to convert the toll booth into <laughs> restrooms, we came to pass <laughs> things. Oh, it is so bad. <laughs> Meaning that on I the journey, you, like I don't work for the minister. Like, you know, I'm just tripping now. So no, no, I'm like, on the us. journey to where you are going to stop at the toll booth. So when I get to the destination, I'm when pressed. I'm going to Sugar I should keep it till I, I get should another toll booth. That when you bring water in a car, you need to drink in Tambo. Please, 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 please. So we always have to make accommodations, right? To to like I I always have to make sure my people are comfortable. So I make all these accommodations. Uh, so now you have to party literally everybody and route. Road, yeah. You know what I mean? Ask the ladies to please change in the bus, etc. Because you know there's no changing room there. Mm. And it's a waterfall. They have to swim. Mm. You have to literally force people to carry water on, on all you the You know, this is why I don't there's go anywhere. There's nothing over there, right? You know, pay the locals to have somebody in, with a backpack carrying water. That is how you always have to make accommodations to make sure that you are, you are providing your customers the best experience, even though everything else is working against you. So you actually need the institution's help. Yes. That's what I mean. Something as simple as a tax shop to sell water, mm. snacks. Something as simple as a changing room. That is, that is, that yeah, is but, not But do you think that, that this must all possible. fall on yeah. the... Yeah, it is. The, 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 even if it's not going to be their cost. I, I, I so beg to differ. You see, they, they do. Saying, they are charging for it. What is that money no, being No, used no, please, hold on. Spending. You see, when you say they are charging for it, you guys are making it... Hold on. No, but you guys are, are making though. it. Hold on. <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I? Hold, can I not hold brief? So can I not hold brief? No, I'm. I have partly been in your shoes, so I'm. I share with what you're saying. What I'm saying is that <laughs> let's not yeah. act as if if they are charging fifty CDs, forty nine CDs is going into GTA's pocket. See, okay. That's okay. What that's we are saying. Problem, let's though. let's not make no, it look like let's not make it look like the amount of money that is being. Yesterday we are hearing a lot about the deputy PR talking about oh we standard we are in collaboration with this we will check the standards of operation and all of that, except the standard of operation is limited to Accra or oh, is limited yeah, to yeah, places is. here. Even Accra, if, yeah. Well, I, so I if that's my point. I want, I'm I want just saying to, finish, to you that yeah. before you even go on to that point, for me, it is a dead on arrival. Because if you're charging me for an experience, I should be able to have the experience that I paid for. Yeah. You don't have any excuse after taking my money mm -hmm. that I take my money. No. Look at how embarrassing this. And if where, a tourist comes know, and goes to sit on an international media and says they went to a resort here they and they change, couldn't yeah. change, we'll say, oh, why are they talking about us yeah. like that? We take offense Please. to that. Can I, but it's, can I, there's also the fact that everything moves slowly outside Accra. Mm -hmm. Everything. 
uh, if you sit in a restaurant anywhere outside of Accra, it's it's not. I mean, that's like, a whole different conversation. <laughs> but I think like, just to tack on to what you said, if the GCA is giving licenses, right, there should be a basic standard, like basic amenities, right? So if you're giving these licenses out, then you should say, okay, you should have changing rooms. You should have clean bathrooms. If, but the question I, I want to ask you, mm-hmm. are you aware if GTA has licensed some of these places that you are, um, you are, we are highlighting, if they are licensed to operate under GT, or no, hold hold on, or you know what happens? Um, sometimes it just might be a place that might have a certain uh, natural whatever, and people want to go and see there. That doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a licensed. Have you do you also make inquiries to find out if this place I'm going to is under GTA's uh, watch? Okay, so I, I would just because like I don't want us to speculate and put everything on the okay, GTA so and say that it's GTA the because there are thousand and one sites in Ghana. The licenses. Okay? How do we know? The licenses, like if you t- have a ticket, yeah. it should say yeah. on it that it's if, like if you have a ticket if to you get pay, if you have to pay for something, you got a receipt. You but Jay, it doesn't indicates. that also? Indi- but what about the ones that actually have the license? Can we say for sure that they all have bathrooms no. and changing rooms? No. So hold on. Basic amenities. For example, let's take mm-hmm. Kakum. Okay. No. Ka- 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 Kakum is private, right? Yeah, it's private. It's it is private. private. Yeah, it, is. it is private. Yeah, it is private. I'm very, I'm very, I, I know. Actually, it. Kakum increased their rate no. recently. No, it's, it have no, it's a private, it's private owned. Kakum National It's a private owned. Wow. Unless you no, record this and go and play it and then they say it's not private. Then no, I, you, you catch me. But it's private. I made inquiries and I was told it is not, um, um, it might be a partnership, but it's private. It's not exactly. under, it's, so, it's not under if, parks and gardens. If, uh-huh. I don't know the details. I know Kakum is not being managed by a government agency. It's a private firm. But who is giving them the license to operate? Even what I am private. saying is that the levies that are charged, possibly, and I please, I stand to be corrected, and I'm not speaking for government, but I'm saying that the levies that are charged on these things, let's be real, it is now that we are facing a certain influx of, of um, if, I mean, I stand to be corrected again, influx of uh, foreigners that we can now probably start looking at revenues and channel. But I'm wondering, these monies you think we receive over the years, are they going to be enough to be able to take care of the place the people visit? Let's take some of the sites. You mentioned debris. There's Obosuma. Yeah. In fact, let's go to Kweu. Mm, there's, yeah. um, there's the Bruku Rock. Yeah. It's a tourist attraction area, but it is not a place that you can see it's been developed for tourists to go there. No. It's, 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 it's yeah. there. And it's I give there. an example. Yeah. So if you decide to take tourists to the place, mm-hmm. is there a communication between your agency and GTA to say, I'm taking people to this place. Is it under your watch? Those are the questions I want to understand. Because if we sit here and speculate and throw all the weights back onto GTA, we, we just might not be being, we, we, we may not be fair to them. That's what I just feel. I get your point. I do. You know. But I feel like maybe they should be regulating these places too. Yeah, yeah if but people are going there. People are going for there. Safety, but for a lot of reasons. They've, they've decided that they are the <clears throat> voice for Ghana's tourism industry. Right. So if anything, let's I don't want to go back to the Charlemagne comments. Please, please do. Please if do. If a tourist actually. comes in and they make an observation. So when we talk about customer experience, we talk about the perception a customer has of a brand or an experience. Right. Yes. His perception was that Ghana has what the nicest, most uh, incompetent service, <laughs> horrible service. Yeah. Right. They're not going to talk about. This specific location. I don't even think he mentioned which restaurant or no, whatever. Yeah, they did right? not, but people were just. But knew. GTA <laughs> has, has, has sat there and said that they are going to be the spokesperson for tourism in Ghana. So if people are going to a specific location and you've identified that over the last three months, if there's any way that they're doing that, they're monitoring and evaluating, there's been a thousand people going to this location. It's a tourism hotspot. We need to make sure that these are the basic standards that each hotspot should have. Then it's on them. The owners should be on them. We're not going to the, the private owners and saying, okay, you know, Mr. Kojo owns this location. We have to go and force him. The, the customers have to go and force him to have a bathroom. It's GTA. You've it's given the, the license and you're telling them, okay, if you want this license, you have to make sure that there's health and safety standards. There's basic amenities. Uh, the customers are able to use the bathroom or change if it's a water body. And what if something bad happens? Is there yeah. going to be fire and ambulance, access to fire and ambulance? Because if something bad, and I always say this every December, that I'm so happy that there hasn't been any catastrophe. Because if something bad happens in Volta or uh, Kweu or whatever, what is going to happen to a tourist that maybe gets like injured? Like, yeah. For that location. So GCA is 
should be held responsible for wherever you're giving licenses to have the basic standards that every location should have. Yeah. So add to okay. what she said, no, right? So see, I'm not a piece of here. I just mm. I just the Kakum. Yes. I also checked. Don't worry. It's a national park. Don't mind your foolish life. Wildlife, wildlife Department of Ghana. Don't worry, bro. Forget about no, that one. No. It's, it's it was okay. Park. No. No. See, no. It's actually part of our national park. What I know is Children's Park is not. No. No. I think Kakum is. No. 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 Bro. I mean, unless of course maybe it's not updated, but there's even an there's even an airline for it. I'm telling you what I also got on the ground when I also went. No. No. But there's an airline. There's an airline to it. Who, who is right? The the online old blog or the guy? It's not, guys it's not a blog. There's an there. airline parliament for it as a national park. Airline 1525. Who is not sure? See, okay. it's, it's written there. <laughs> when you take a ride, as far as I, when, I, I was, Jay, I, I know it's what, what I want to ask. I want to make inquiries. What was the question we want to ask about that? Is Kakum? Um, Private, uh, private, private, yeah. Or, or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whilst, yeah, whilst I talk to my my gods, when, <laughs> when, <laughs> but when you when you're asking them, are that actually they they have a license from the authority to run the place? No, That's the most important thing for me because yeah. if I open a private restaurant. They will still come and give yes, me a license exactly. to operate. Yeah. You understand? It's my private restaurant, but the is government institution is telling me that I have not met their requirements, mm -hmm. so they are not allowing me. Exactly. So the, 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 for me, the conversation is not even who owns Kakum. Yeah. The, the conversation is are they licensed mm -hmm. to operate? Mm -hmm. Who gave them the license? If any institution or facility that I visit as a tourist and I see, like I said yesterday, if I see the certification of GTA, mm -hmm. in my mind, you are oh, this feel safe, ah, actually. You you know, yeah. so See, that that is it for if, me. When you take a ride hailing service, and assuming the car didn't have seat belts, or they even have appropriate seats, the first person you'd complain to wouldn't be the driver. Mm -hmm. It would be the company yeah. Yeah. and tag them. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. would work. Mm -hmm. I took a Miss G, whatever, and the car was crap, and the driver was this, and the, that was that. Even though the driver owns the, the vehicle, car. Mm -hmm. the service provision is for the service provider. And you're banking on them to get a better exactly. service. The reason why I sat in that car is because you said you've checked A, B, C. So the reason why I will take a car from here to the northern part of Ghana is because the guys who are supposed to be the parent body need to certify yeah. that there's changing rooms, there's medical support, there's accommodation, there's bathrooms, there's canteen and mm -hmm. restaurants, there's this and that, blah, blah, blah. So even if the journey is long, I no longer have anxiety or any problem mm -hmm. going that place because I know that even when I get there tired, a lot of my needs will be catered for. Mm -hmm. The authority is not doing that. Mm -hmm. They are doing their best. They've done a lot. But we cannot say that because people own private institutions, the onus falls on them to provide all the support systems needed to operate in the tourism ecosystem. Yeah. It's not possible. I mean, no investor it, can when, do that. You, it's like saying that when you start, it's like saying that you want to start a taxi and after buying your car, fueling it, you now have to pave the road. Guys. <laughs> right? Look. So, you know, my taxi only does 100 meters so because I've only yes. been able to pave yeah. 100 yes. meters. Are, but there's somebody who is in charge of road. Mm -hmm. um, when that person creates the road, Marina, my taxi service Marjua. can, can yeah. work. Eminem. <laughs> I am I'm going to okay. switch us to talk um you know get a bit more background into understanding customer service then we'll bring it back to Cyril's point okay. so that we all make sure we're all on the same page but before I make that before we delve into what customer service is uh, you know I, w I want to say that um we're just about 2.5 million or 3 million Ghanaians that are paying taxes mm -hmm. even in that the 3, point, the 3 million thereabouts I can say about 1.5 pp the rest don't pay. <laughs> How much money is allocated to GTA, Ministry of Tourism, to be able to execute the things they're supposed to do? Um, how many illegal, indisciplined people do we have in the system that are siphoning money due to corruption from these sites that could have been used to develop? Um, how is, how is um, uh, Ministry of uh, Roads and Highways uh, uh, playing its part to make sure accessibility to these places are even uh, you know, 100% and top notch. Mm. It's not a conversation of GTA. It's a conversation of so many different uh, elements that must come together mm -hmm. to make it happen. 
that's what I'm saying that if you go back and say that that one city levy that Egypt has taken yeah. from one site, you want to say that they should use it to develop the place. It can happen. It needs investment. It needs investors. It needs honesty from we Ghanaians. You know, I don't want to sound like I'm standing for the MPP government, but I'm just <laughs> saying. Sounds like, like a politician, actually. <laughs> well, you I'm really going to start on my ticket. My party, you haven't heard? <laughs> oh. KNAS, okay. that's what it's called. KNAS party. Okay. CUP. <laughs> the king, I believe the king. Why don't lash? <laughs> Everything is straightened. Then go so, and lash so, so, yes, when you elect me to power, yeah, I will until, do that. Then, Vote for me. Them like so, that. <laughs> so, please let's roll back into understanding yeah. in itself what customer service is. What should people expect from service providers? Hmm. You know, and let's speak. Let's take it. Let's speak in the area of tourism. Mm -hmm. Now that people are coming into the country, so let me start off with. Let me start off with you, Madra. Or let me throw to like Maureen. Yes, yeah, she's yeah, she's a customer service expert. <laughs> I like that. Like, <laughs> don't ask me math questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you saying what do the diasporans or the tourists? What should they expect, or what should any customer? Any expect customer today? expect? Yeah. All right. So I'll just start with the basics. Um, customer service is the supports that you provide customers before, during, and after a transaction. Okay. What I do is customer experience, which is the perception a customer has of the brand on the end-to-end -end journey. Okay? okay. So when I started, I was focusing on customer service, but I realized things like if you call a business, you see the number <laughs> online, you call them, they don't pick up. <laughs> or when they pick up, they don't know how to answer the phone or to give you the information that you provide. And I was like, no, we need a holistic approach to the issues that we're having in Ghana. So I, I started focusing on customer experience, which is, again, the end-to-end -end journey. As a customer, you are giving your hard-earned money to businesses, and you should expect optimal service in exchange or optimal products in exchange, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. of my biggest issues within, within this market is that we, customers don't really pay attention or they don't stand on what they're entitled to, mm -hmm. right? So even when they get bad service, they don't leave a review, they don't mm -hmm. complain. And after the, I mean, the Charlemagne comments, the first thing I thought was, where is the lie? Mm. Where's the lie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are the most hospitable community or culture of people, but we don't know how to give optimal service. We don't know how to, there's no service <coughs> knowledge. There's no product knowledge. Mm. And to use Charlemagne's example, I'm pretty sure that the restaurant that he was at, they haven't been trained to deal with delays and orders. Mm. So the waiters, of, they're the customer-facing staff, so they're the ones dealing di directly with the customers. The, one, the people in the kitchen, they're doing their best, but mm -hmm. there's a way to communicate to a customer that this is the reason why mm -hmm. your food has been delayed. Mm -hmm. But if the business itself has no mm -hmm. um, standards in place or they don't mm -hmm. have any effective training or learning and development for their staff, then they won't be able to deliver that kind of service, right? So what we need to do is we need to look at how, I mean, Cyril said this, I think, a few days ago about the mindsets, mm. okay? So I've been training within the various industries for a while, and I realized mindset is a big issue, mm. okay? Mindset and education. Mm -hmm. the, the barriers start from the education <laughs> because we're not taught to critically think, okay? So if there's a problem, what are the possible solutions So now we see take? initial education is not coming into play in tourism. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth, though. It's the truth. We see. Yeah, it the is. other day, I was reading an article on BBC about how employable are our youth. Like, what skills do they have? How prepared are they for the workforce or to be in a workplace? And in hiring, I used to recruit for a lot of my clients. Let me tell you, it's not easy. It is very difficult because a lot of people will, will have the basics or what's needed on their CV. But when you sit in front of them and you ask them very specific questions about how would you deal with this situation, they don't know how to articulate that. And if they can't articulate that, when they're in that situation, they won't be able to deliver, right? So I think when it comes to customer service, what we need to really um, do is take a step back and ask ourselves, what are the barriers that we're facing right now that are leading to this? It's a rampant problem. It's systemic. It's in every single industry. The banking industry, customer service is bad. The healthcare industry, customer service is bad. Retail, hospitality, everywhere. It's horrible. And we have so many different um, businesses or customer service consultants that are working, but we're not seeing the effects or the impact because we're all operating in silos. We're not communicating with each other. But the job, the pie is very big, okay? So, you know, like sometimes in Ghana, everyone wants to get all the jobs and they don't want to share it. But the pie is massive. There's so much work that needs to be done. And why I always go at GTA is because I think that GTA needs to make an effort to partner with customer experience and customer service officials to help them improve the customer service in these various establishments. They have the list. They have the data. 
the other day I was reading that there were 700,000 or 750,000 jobs in the tourism industry. We have so many unemployed youth. Why isn't there an institution where um, <coughs> waiters and servers can go and be trained effectively before they go and work in these different restaurants or establishments, or managers can be trained effectively so that they can deliver an optimal customer experience. We don't have that. Everyone is doing it in their little corner, trying to make an impact, but it's not big enough for what we're trying to do with the Ghana tourism um, industry. I, 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 I want to add to and ask a question that I think, you know, first of all, how much have we been paying people in the customer service <laughs> yeah. area? Is it motivating enough for you to want to hold on and deal with some customer who's... No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. So yeah. the, it, it goes back to HR as well, so mm -hmm. our hiring practices. So this is why I was recruiting for some of my clients, because, you know... If you compare customer um, service reps in the West to Ghana, you find that the level of education is higher. They're usually university students or, you know, they're, they're not high school graduates. They're university students. They have more understanding, more knowledge. They're easily trainable because they're more educated. But in Ghana, what happens is we, what I've noticed is that a lot of the, the customer-facing individuals are like SH, SHS graduates or they haven't had as much exposure. Mm -hmm. So the, the company has to spend more time training them. And then what also happens is the mindset. So there's a high employee turnover. So when there's a high employee turnover, businesses don't want to invest because they don't know if that employee is going to be there in six months. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that has been a challenge over the past five, six years that I've been doing it. Mm -hmm. And what I've been trying to get businesses to understand <coughs> is that rather than focusing on the employee, focus on your structures. Mm. Okay? Mm. So if you have a structure where you have a learning and development pathway for all employees and you have all your resources in-house, mm -hmm. whether the employees leave or not, you have what you need to train new employees as they come, right? So you don't have that gap. And that's why we, it's like a vicious cycle. You know, if you only focus on the fact that they're going to leave, they're not going to train them, mm, right? They don't mm, want to invest. Mm, mm. Mm. Wow. I mean, that's, that you've opened our eyes to. Yeah. So, so let me ask that for you who's in this space, what are you doing, you know, to change this narrative okay. in your own small way? Yeah, so when I started, way. yeah, when I started, again, I said I was only in customer service, right? So I spent, I think, probably two years educating business owners on what customer experience is and why they need to make a shift to taking a whole a holistic view on the experience that they're providing. So making sure that di digital marketing platforms are accurate, all the information that they have online is accurate, making sure that they have standard operating procedures. Mm -hmm. So a lot of businesses don't have that. Um, we develop them in-house for our clients. Mm -hmm. um, so we do it for restaurants. We do it for, we've done it for healthcare. Um, we also do what we call uh, mystery shopping. And with mm -hmm. mystery shopping, it's a tool that we use for clients to be able to identify the gaps in the experience that they're delivering, right? So from a customer's perspective. So one of our clients has about 15 different locations uh, in Accra and Tema. And because they have so many locations, they're unable to really see whether the, the different locations are meeting the standards that they're trying to set. So we send our mystery shoppers every month. They're trained based on the specifications for that client to assess whether they're delivering, they're delivering the service at the standard that they want. And mm -hmm. then we give them reports. We found cases of thefts. We found cases of um, people just kind of, you know what upselling is, where mm -hmm. you know, they want to meet a certain revenue target. Right. They force Ghanaian customers to purchase. Like they'll say, for example, you have to purchase these two things together. That's the only way we sell it. Right. But that's just so that they can meet their targets. Right. So you need to have... And what we, we've just created these tools, right? So in December, we launched a restaurant server handbook. And one thing that I've noticed over the last few years is that businesses will scramble to try and train the staff just before December. Yeah. Oh, but wow. you should be training your staff all through the year. <clears throat> so I get inundated September to December. I literally don't sleep because it's mm. training, 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 training. But a one-off training is not going to be effective. And also December, the pressure on your employees is extreme. Mm -hmm. So if you're not training them consistently through the year, then it's not second nature. They'll, they'll be frazzled, you know. Um, so... We've created resources that are available on our website. Um, they're, they're affordable. So rather than having us come in and do the training, you get the affordable training resources. And then you can train your staff. You have your managers train your staff. If your managers are un incapable of training, we'll train your managers so that they can continue the to train training. your staff. But you have the resources. So if people leave, the employees will leave. That is yeah. going to happen. But you have these, they're evergreen. So for as long as you use them, they're in there. It's part of your business structure. Is this training expensive? I will say that when we do the live trainings, 
it can be pricey based on how big the group is. And again, one training is not enough, right? So it's an investment. That's what I always tell my clients, that you're investing into your business. The same way you write a business plan and you have your vision and your mission, you should also have your customer experience vision, your goals and your objectives, right? So if every year you're saying that you want to increase your customer base by 50%, what mm -hmm. are you going to do to do that? You need a strategy. You need the right people on your team, okay? Um, so, I mean, depending on the size of your business, it can be expensive, but the resources are affordable, it's a one-off payment, and you have them for as long as you use them. Mm. Yeah. So with you, Majwa, um, what, what are some of the experiences on customer service that you, because you also engage people, yeah. not necessarily, necessarily the customer, but I mean other vendors and uh, up to the places you go to, what is a realistic situation like in Ghana and <laughs> Peyo, where you've actually, <laughs> so, I mean. I mean, for me and most other operators I know, I think we always make up the rules as we go like whatever makes my clients happy mm -hmm. and it's it's always even different for every group like this there's a group where this works for that this doesn't work for is it frustrating it is frustrating it is very you always have to um make uh like find ways like there's always that one thing you have to do and remember you're not just doing it by yourself so you do everything right and then there's other it can be the site, it can be a driver, mm -hmm, it can mm -hmm, be the mm -hmm. restaurant you're taking them to eat at lunch. Like mm -hmm. every 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 other thing can frustrate you. So you always have to make sure that every day you're making something work mm. in your own way. I don't know how to word it yeah. properly. Like yeah. you always have to uh, find your way around find it your way so around that your the system, work around the system. Yeah. Literally tip people even for doing their jobs, mm -hmm. just so they can do their jobs mm -hmm. better. Well, so that that's... your customers will have a good experience despite. Do you have customers come back to tell you that maybe they've had like, like what Charlemagne the God did, yeah. like, you know. I mean, um, usually, um, I think, luckily for us tour operators, so when you take people out, they understand that your work was basically curating it, mm -hmm. putting everything together. Um, Kakum not doing their job is not really your problem. Like, it's not really your responsibility, more or less. I mean, they don't actually blame you yeah. directly for most of these things. So, <clears throat> if mm. you do everything right, curating it, organizing, making sure people have all the information they need before going on a trip, what to pack, what not to pack, what to work, etc., then they 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 are okay with your services. I mean, they are not gonna be okay with the fact that maybe uh, the bike broke down when you're on a quad bike or etc. But they don't blame you directly. So, luckily for us, we we get to. Mm. not feel all that heat but so that's what i said so because things don't always work out the way they're supposed to you always have to make sure that from the minute you pick people out from the hotels to the minute you bring them back you are making their experience worthwhile from the food to the bus ride it being comfortable to everything mm. so you, i have a question though yeah as a tour operator do you give feedback to not I'm guessing for some places it's impossible to give feedback, but when you can give feedback, do you give feedback to the businesses? Actually, I fight them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I fight them because my reputation is always is line, like, yeah. I have, thank God, I have five star reviews literally all, all across the board. So I'm not trying to fuck up my risk. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm it's, okay. 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 Um, it's fine. Excuse me. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to mess up my, my reputation by you not doing your job. Right. So everybody that works with me know me. I have just a team of two. Everybody knows. Majwa says, we are living at nine. We are living at nine. We don't care. We have to wait for the client till 12. We are there at no, nine. Time. If no. I tell you I'm bringing a group at 12 to eat, <clears throat> it's 12. Unless I call you and be like, hey, we are running late. You'll be there at 1230. You know, so I fight mm -hmm. them. Yeah. I always make sure they are doing their jobs. Cause the reason why I ask this is because I find that sometimes businesses generally don't care about the experience the customer has. So after the Charlemagne, while it was going on, the discussion about the Charlemagne stuff on Twitter, I reached out to one of the brands that was consistently message, like mentioned in the, yeah, so, in the tweets. Yeah. So I actually reached out to them directly and I was like, um, do you know that there's a lot of negative comments about uh, experiences customers have had with your brand happening on Twitter and on social media. And the person that responded was like, oh, um, let me go and check. Or can you send me the tweets? And I said, <laughs> ma'am, I cannot send you the tweets. There are so many tweets, okay? <laughs> and there's something, there's a tool that we call social listening. Right? Yeah. If, even if you outsource your social media to a third party, they should be social listening for you so that if yeah. anyone mentions your brand, you, you get that information. Yeah. Yeah. 
they a lot of businesses don't do that. So I was like, no, just go on Twitter, search for Buka. Oops. 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 Search for them. We know about this public knowledge. It was knowledge. Buka. Yeah. yeah, it was Buka, actually. And it was, it was, I don't know. I we all know already. No, no, feel free. I said, yeah. I don't know if Charlemagne mentioned that, but I was talking about the fact that yeah. comments were being made. So anyways, they, I guess they went and they looked, and they're like, you know what? We, we, we can't respond to all of the comments. And I said, that's understandable. But join the conversation. Yeah. Let people know that, yes, you know, you actually are like one of the pioneering restaurants. Everyone wants to come to Buka when yeah. they come to Ghana. And we recommend And you want to show time, that so. you care what the experience your customers are having. And she's like, well, we do have these, you know, these drugs. I was like, what feedback systems do you have in place? And she said, okay, they have a QR code on their tables. And I was like, that's Long. something that you could mention. <laughs> you know, you could mention that we have a QR code on your table. And if someone has a negative experience, these are the, the options that we offer them. We might comp their, their meal or we might give them a discount. You might not be able to please everyone, but the perception that you're creating is that you actually care that people are having negative experiences and you want to kind of to eliminate that yeah. and fix it. And so many brands miss out on those opportunities because they don't social listen, in, sure. listen and they don't um, interact or they actually don't care about the perception that the customer has of their brand. Mm. They're just like, okay, we're, we're selling a product and it's not enough anymore. The customer <coughs> is more sophisticated. You know, COVID actually made customers more sophisticated. We want more convenience. We want to be able to buy whatever we want at the time that we want to buy it. No more please DM for price. Mm -hmm. None of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> DM know? me for the Give price. Give me the information <laughs> so I can make a, a, a decision, like a decision then, based then, on yeah. the information. Mm -hmm. And then purchase. And we want quick path to purchase. We don't want to take two days or whatever. Sometimes you go in and you purchase something. You go on a, a vendor's page online. They're like, okay, yeah, yeah, this is how much it costs. And you pay for it. And then they tell you that it's going to take two or three days until you get your item. Mm -hmm. That should be disclosed to a customer before they make a payment. You're getting my money. I want my product immediately. You know? you know, I'll share a personal experience and then I want to ask you about uh, training, sorry, I ask you about certification of being a tour operator. Yeah. Um, where I, I worked at the tail of, um, of KFC okay. uh, on just on a campaign um, with uh, Adina and uh, Bella Mundi as influencers. And I tell you what, um, that job is not it's easy. Not, yeah, it's not easy. No. So I will only plead to us customers to sometimes not be too no 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 demanding no 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 no, 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 no. it's easy what? it's easy being on it's air not easy it's easy being on air being a doctor being a you pilot being a sailor um, 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 hold on no 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 I like no 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 let me introduce you to my friends. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna have it. These are my Oi. friends. These are my friends. Oi. These are my friends. Let me bro, that, bro. That's serious. I used to wake up. Let's say, Miss G. I might not look like it. Like, so yeah, I, I used to, to wake I want up to finish at 3 30. This is what they do. They, they, walk, they never have the power <laughs> to go <laughs> never and let, let, let me kill this. Let me ask this microphone. They can't hear him out. So, Telford somewhere. So, I didn't complain to anybody. You got your mic. Yeah. You got Holy so, Spirit, fire. So, <laughs> so, wow, 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 so wow, wow, wow. tell you something. Oh, no, it's on. It's, just it's on now. Did you hear what I said? In I the world, hear what I, I said. I didn't finish my point. I only said that sometimes oh, we bro, should bro, also... Bro, 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 bro. So forget. let me finish. Okay. Now, but, when I stood at the back in there, mm -hmm. and no, I stood no, on, my, no, on, my, no, on my feet for just, I think it was just about four hours, I was tired. Mm -hmm. I was exhausted. Then, then what dawned on me? Please, was he for free? Then what dawned on me? Was he for free? When you were standing there? <laughs> no, I just want to know as until, you go along. Until I finish, you no, not understand no, me. Because we saw the car he bought it. We know where he's going. He's going to the wrong place. There is no way you will understand me until I finish. No, I just want to ask you as you go along. No, no, no. There is no way. You don't answer that question. There is no way you will understand me until I finish. No problem, bro. Then I asked myself a question that, wow, how much am I earning? No. Then I asked myself a question that, um, let's assume that I'm coming with all my frustrations into a business that mm -hmm. demands patience, mm -hmm. time, understanding. Mm -hmm. Would I be able, would the, would the masses be able to fit into the job opportunity available? It was a question I asked myself and it was pretty deep for me. Then I realized that, you know what, the customer service conversation goes beyond just a matter of us training people yeah. to understand, but it's it, it's it's the econ it's psychological yeah. it's the economy i live in and what kind of frustration that i'm even coming there did i sign up on that job because it was just available or i have passion for service mm. to serve people because i want to go into becoming a doctor because i love the art mm. of science and cutting people up 
you understand so am i in here because i love serving service or i'm here because i'm frustrated i'm looking for a job and opening a finished school i can't find anything i've been home for two and a half years or seven years and um i hear a job opening at a certain brand and it's you know i'm a waiter and they're paying me 450 and i'm there and the customer's not coming to do me and, and you brought the, the food and the food yeah. is, 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 is i mean i'm looking at you know, I, I feel like so many, jamming yeah. your head into tea yeah, so yeah. it's 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 a very big conversation yeah, so that's the point i was yeah. making fair enough but my people uh, no, me, so you've made your point uh, no don't talk for me. me don't talk for me if you are done are you done with your point um I are you done with your point can i <laughs> can i land before we go to our guest i would like to land before we go to the what you what you what you said see every market right is at a certain point in its growth. You made a point, and uh, you are seeing you were working somewhere. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. You said you were working somewhere. No, no, you are working in Ghana. No, 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 relax. Was it in Ghana? Mm -hmm. Relax. But you, when they ask you questions, oh. you say no. You, you said, were asking. Uh, like, uh, let me answer. say what I'm saying. Hmm. Every market is at a point. Every market is at a certain point of growth in its journey, right? There's advanced markets, there's growing markets, and there's lower markets. We are not an advanced market, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. People, as a nation. As a nation People need to understand this. Employers and employees need to understand this. There's something I always say. I say Ghanaians tend to want jobs, but don't want to do the work. There's a big difference between wanting a job and wanting to do the work. Like you're saying, the person who is front desk selling you your chips and your chicken, is the person there because they want to be in the service industry, because they care about the job, or are they just there plugging a hole? You, 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 you understand. That's a true problem, and you've, you've stated it clearly. But my point is that professional conduct says the, when I come and sit on air, right, whether my tummy is running, whether I have problems at home, whether me and Olele are not cool, we have a responsibility to stay professional and deliver on the mandate yeah. for which we've been engaged. So we do that. It's not his fault. Look at his watch and his shirt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and big, big English. <laughs> do, you, do you get what I'm saying? It's simple. It happens all the time. Charlie, you call somebody, but don't hammer me. What about just saying? 60 CDs. Don't. Hmm. Boss, I didn't make a I'm saying now. Mm. 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 You just said yeah. forward. Mm. Forward. You Where's negotiated, it? you committed, and the job is done now. And, is, and that's the mindset, listen, that's the mindset people take into yeah. formal employment. Yeah. At the point of desperation, when they want something, right, they'll commit to everything. Yeah. So you have to stand there, it's eight hour shifts, you'll yeah. be serving people, children, mothers, foolies, Miss G's, chicken, this is what you do. Oh, maya, maya, oh, maya, oh, maya. Three days into the job, and now we're back at the Biana Abet. Now we're about some pet chips. Or no, Kasakra to turn in. And for boss, you committed to deliver a do the damn job. We have that problem across every spectrum. Do we not complain about nurses? Do people not come on Twitter? and lose their bloody yeah. minds okay. about so, service yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you are a nurse. You took a, an oath. You are here to help save lives. When we are dying, we are hurt. We don't know what to do. We come to you. Yeah. yeah. Right, and at that moment, you want to tell me that you're having a long day. Uh, no. Swayed by no, 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 no. 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 Listen, imagine no. being, imagine being in an accident. Eh? Right, I cannot give all the stories I have, yeah. but imagine being in an accident and being rushed to a big hospital, and the person who is supposed to receive you at the hospital is more frustrated than you who have blood on your clothes. Mm. Just say. It's not compute. No, I'm not. I'm not fighting the nurses. I, I I'm not. I'm saying that. I'm not talking about nurses. I'm not. No, I'm not making it specific. Mark. You, yeah. you. I just took it from. Yeah, I just took it from KFC to yeah. yeah. nursing for you to see that there's a thread that runs through no. all these yeah, situations. All and that thread is that like, when we no, commit I did to not jobs. Say KFC staff. Uh, let's not. No, 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 not KFC. You said you were. I didn't say that. Point. No, 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 no. I didn't make a reference to KFC staff. I said my point. I made a reference to you. I said me. When I stood there, mm -hmm. I sort of put myself in the shoes and I realized something that until you are there, those yeah. things become things that are fight forces that are fighting you. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I was that's the point yeah. I was making. So so let me let me come I, I, back I, to I, I, okay, I just wanted to it's ask like any other job. Because, bro. Of, because of the examples you guys gave, yes. I want to ask um, both guests that how how does our culture influence, you know? Experience. You know, meet with this hospitality and customer. That's just all I was going. I was saying. That's where you're going. That's where I was <laughs> going to. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that I took the wrong car. No, no, no. Uh, that's why I said the car you we took. Have, you know we have a there. few minutes, how, but how let's. Does you know, culture okay. influence hospitality and customer. It's not our thing, maybe. 
the mm-hmm. customer experience standpoint and then going into train um, and interacting with people, I, initially I thought it would be easier, but it's actually not. And it, it goes back to this point, right? It's like the mindset. You know, people go into work because they want an, a means to an end mm-hmm. and not necessarily because they want to give a good service. There are people that love working with people. So, like, when I deal with some of my clients when, and they're hiring people, I ask them, like, do you feel like this person is, like, friendly enough to deal with the ups and downs of dealing with people yeah. on a day to It's a skill mm-hmm. to deal with people on a day-to-day basis, right? So when you're hiring, you have to take that into consideration because right. as much as Ghanaians are so friendly, mm-hmm. you can't, to be friendly eight hours a day, people from all walks of life when i go anywhere i always when i say hello and then i ask people how are you doing because Mm -hmm. they seem so shocked like Mm -hmm. that someone wants to ask them how are they doing Mm -hmm. but we're we're all human beings Mm -hmm. the thing is yes culture there's like a mindset that needs to be shifted to a group mindset Mm -hmm. we don't have to be the way that we are Mm -hmm. we can also learn new things Mm -hmm. but we just have to be human right Mm -hmm. and hiring her people that you know or that can show demonstrate that they like interacting with people mm. to get good customer service uh, personnel and i would say for business owners if you mm. um, invest in aptitude tests okay so there are no right answer. people who have answers that are in alignment with your company right. people like if you can ask a question like, like if admin stuff mm. and a customer comes in do you leave the admin stuff and go and deal with the customer or you continue with your task mm. their answer can indicate the kind of mindset that they yeah. have, they have. Mm. okay if the mm. customer is first they'll drop the admin stuff and go and do, deal with the customer right. if their mindset is but i just want to do my job mm. they'll stick with the admin I'm stuff. My so, business. Yeah. <laughs> so there's different tools that you can use mm. i don't think culture necessarily will impact the kind of customer service that you have you have because we're all friendly people friendly in ghana people. But it's more so hiring the right people for the jobs and mm-hmm. understanding and identifying what their incentive is. Mm-hmm. Okay, Ghanaian youth need um, opportunities to grow. Mm-hmm. So that should be another thing that people need to focus okay. on. Because mm-hmm. if they feel like it's just a means to an end, they're going to look for the, someone who will come and offer them 50 CDs extra on top of their salary and they will leave. And they'll leave. Adra, yeah. while Sorry, she uh, there's, there's an update here. Uh, it is under Forestry Commission. It's a government agency. It's a government agency, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I lie to you, Simone, you're angry. No, I was when I lie to you, Simone, <laughs> you're angry. Yeah. Yeah. We, can't play, we can't play with you, cry. <laughs> <laughs> we can't play with you, <laughs> yeah. we can't play with you <laughs> small <laughs> lie, then you're angry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just want to ask the question, right? Oh, um, sorry, uh, I think I lost. So, basically, I was talking about the Ghanaian culture influence, you know, in our She's touched on the customer service, but I want to touch on the hospitality bit. But because you're also well traveled, help us, you know, juxtapose the two regions, whether okay. um, in Africa and outside Africa. You know, what's what's the difference? Actually, I've traveled Africa, pale. I'm okay. So, so okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's even better. Then that's yeah. even better. So, within Ghana, people who come into the yeah, our country between the and then and outside, Ghanians. yes. Actually, uh, that's uh, so Ghanaians clients tend to be more understanding Mm -hmm. of the facilities, of the challenges and Mm. everything else. Mm. I mean, Mm. I don't treat anybody differently, Mm. but they tend to be like, if if we are, say, we're going at 10 and people show up 10, 30, like, oh, Ghana man time, people are just Mm. okay with that. Others aren't, which... You know, so other Ghanaians, no other um, national. Is it understanding or complacent? Mm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, it's, it's, no, I think it's just like Jay Foley's line. We've gotten used to it. Like, okay, line. 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 Yeah. But it's not way. fine. Like she said, it's Ghana not man time. time. It's so not like fine. Before you no, say, no, no, oh, no. have treated like uh, this. I think recently I just tweeted about the fact that people don't write Google reviews in Ghana, and it's not like they don't have a feedback. I have people. Call me on phone. I, I always uh, share thank you notes after every trip. Mm-hmm. There's always a group chat for every trip. Right. So after every trip, everybody shares the photos, videos. I send a thank you note to everybody right. and hope to see them again, etc. People talk to me feedback, but they are never going to write it. Yeah, that's the as cultural a Google thing. review, especially online, Ghanians, yeah. anywhere. Foreigners you... request for it. Yes. they ask you. Yeah, wow. that's definitely a cultural thing. But yeah. I, is it not because we are either scared of being victimized? No. So if it's negative, or... yeah. Yeah. They'll talk to you. Mm. Right. Unless it's so extreme that they have to make everybody know that this was a bad service. Right. I mm. need people to know. Mm. But And even if it was good, they, they just talk to you. Yeah. But I think the, the, with the negative reviews, there's several reasons. So time, sometimes people are scared that, mm-hmm. you know, when they, let's say a restaurant, they go back to the restaurant, they're going to be treated differently. Yeah. Another reason is they think that it's not going to make a difference. 
And then Ghanaians, you know, we like this thing where it's like, oh, we don't want to spoil someone's business. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So we don't. But the thing. negative reviews are what makes the changes, yeah. right? Because sometimes you have to put someone on blast for them to realize that, you know, I need to sit up. Yeah. I can't treat my customers yeah. this way. Yeah. I had an experience with like a fashion designer, horrible experience. Mm. And for me, I don't really like putting out, like, I'll go straight to the business owner and let them know this is what happened um, just because of the field that I'm in. Like, I don't want to be there, like, trashing people's yeah. businesses. Yeah. But I tried that several times, and she did not want to. She just kept on making excuses. So I went so you have and to put go a long yeah. review on Google about my experience. And other people saw, and they're like, oh, my God, if I hadn't seen this, or I also had that kind of experience. But as Ghanaians, we need to hold these businesses accountable. Mm. They're taking your money. So if you want to keep getting horrible service, then fine, keep quiet. But if you want it to improve, you need to give reviews about the experiences that you're having. You know, let's let's bring it down to um, ride hailing services. Um, yeah. We take these ride hailing services daily, right? And these days, I think, and I'm, I'm even putting myself on the table, we've been very lazy mm. in terms of giving riders ratings, mm. right? Because sometimes yeah. we think, oh. Charlie, the driver, yeah, yeah, Charlie, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I've arrived to my destination, yeah, I'm so good and everything. Yeah. I know there's someone listening to us right now, and I want you guys to use the opportunity to also talk to that as well. Mm. And then after, I also talk about the fact that um, our concerts um, that are held here, our events, I think it's an opportunity for us to introduce ratings mm -hmm. or reviews. Yes. You know, yeah. Where, like, if someone is thinking about this idea, I think you should go for it. You create a website where people get opportunity to rate yeah. events, events held in Ghana. Yes. Yeah. That's, a, I think it's a way to have a collective feedback, yeah. you know, so oh, security, mm -hmm. um, ticketing, whatever, so that yeah. Yeah. whoever is coming to town the next time will know that, okay, I should avoid going to this concert because they're not going to take yeah. care of me when I yeah. get there. That's a good idea. Do you get it? Yeah. That way is anonymous. Again, <laughs> say but no, before, Jay, before you do that, let yeah, me before I do that, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> before so I do that, talk to me about that like, thing I do. Um, um, rating, like, you know, ride hailing service apps and stuff like that. I mean, we talk about food, food, yeah. food, but it's not everybody that goes to, yeah. to eat at a restaurant. We use Uber, Boat, Yango every day. Talk to me about the rating, the importance yeah. of rating the drivers. So, I mean, when it comes to racing, the thing is... And the drivers rating the customers as well. Yes, so... Ratings are good because it's also like punitive, right? Mm. So if someone consistently gets negative ratings, there's going to be a an effect of that. Right. Yeah. There's a consequence to it. Right. And for me, like when I take a ride healing, a, a ride share or whatever, mm. I always review or leave a rating. If okay. it was exceptional, then I'll make a comment about why it was exceptional. And if it right. was negative, then I'll make a comment about why it was negative. But we, we keep seeing this conversation about people having negative experiences with different riders or different and they, drivers and stuff like that. And it's because no one's reviewing. Because exactly. yeah. it's not no a one-off yeah. incident. Uh -huh. yeah, you know? So you need to understand the power of your review. Mm. That's what we need to do as a society, as customers. We need to understand the power of a review. We're offering our money in exchange for a service. Mm. And for every, with ride hailing, it's convenience, it's safety. All these things that the company is um, selling to us. And if we're not getting that, you should review it. Right. You know, I think what I've heard is that sometimes people are scared because if they get dropped off here and they give a negative review, the driver knows, knows where the, they the, are the address, and yeah. stuff like that. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Drop, if, the, if the driver no, drops not, you off at your house no. and you give them one star, they can come back to they your house. Are you serious? House. Yes. There's a lot I want to say about the, about the ride hailing business, but I, only, I need you all to finish. We have five minutes, uh, no, sorry, but four minutes safe. left, so I want to just pick 30 it. seconds. That's not safe so to that's think why about you will it. not rate at all. You just yeah. let it so that's why a lot of ladies Again. I know don't rate. Yeah. Again. Wow. Because, I mean, it's unsafe. This is, yeah. this is my problem yeah. with introducing businesses into the country when you don't localize a business. Yeah. Because the concept of... Airbnb and the concept of uh, ride hailing <laughs> was, designed, was designed <laughs> by a certain market for a certain market. An yeah. advanced market An advanced and being market implemented for, in a developing one. Yeah. Yes. But unfortunately, when you have um, issues of high you know, crime rates yeah. being high, you have uh, loyalty issues, dishonesty issues, mm -hmm. you have bad road services, you can't offer easily offer a ride hailing yeah, service yeah. to a country like this because my car is my, my is what is feeding me. Yeah. And if you tell me, you, they said the, the road to every beautiful girl's house is bad. Oh, I don't wow. know if you know. Am I lying? Wow. Is it road to your house nice? <laughs> <laughs> yours is fine. Good. I don't know what you're talking about. Lucky you. Yours is also fine. Me, grab my road is good. Which wow. of the beautiful girls are you following? Oh, you say when you when you meet a girl in town, you like her, you ask her where she lives, she tells you, and she go and then drop her off. You will, you will regret it. <laughs> Usually, the road to the house is very bad, but just by the way. So 
you know, for a taxi driver, I mean, so many considerations because of his experiences where he's been nearly jacked before by people, you know, all those things. Now, it comes at play to our culture, our lifestyle. Does this really work here? Yeah. Now that the, the, the writers, when you call them, they're asking you, where are you going? Money it's going, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But they're forced to ask you because situations mm. have turned things as such, you know, high cost of fuel, so many things. So they're asking themselves, so Charlie, should I stay in that traffic at uh, um, on the Spintex Road? You, you, you live in Little London. Yeah. Little London. Where's that? Sakumano, sorry. Okay. Where's Snowfall? <laughs> like. You live there, you're going to use Spintex Road on a Saturday afternoon at 11 o'clock oh. to the mall. And, oh, and that you see, you the, said, you know, I'm coming. So I want to give they, you my last I'm not defending them. I'm not saying that they have used all bullet. these things, <laughs> all these things to come and <laughs> disrupt <laughs> the <laughs> flow. I've you know, reserved one brain cell for you. Let me finish. I told you, I just said 30 seconds. My point is that. Unfortunately, the economy that we live in does not allow people to, uh, certain services to flow easily. Yeah. And people then define their own ways around it and it disrupts the service. And that's the challenge we are in. Until we have good roads and all in the, 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 the street lights mm -hmm. and traffic signs are all working, we can't have a free flow of. <laughs> ride hailing app. You yeah. we will have these problems. So, bro, I'm done. The show has should, we, should we delete Ghana? So we should delete. So we should delete Reset. Ghana. Hey, is it? So we should delete Ghana. No, not that we should delete Ghana. We have we have yeah, to localize. To yeah, we so do. if you ask me, uh, Yango Bolt, Uber, and all them have to now look relook at how they are offering their services because the if not, it will, don't even understand what they're saying. All these things exactly. You know, yeah. They just think they're just yeah. driving, see, but yeah. they don't understand that it's about convenience. Mm. Like I had to explain to I was at KFC once, came and that it was job. about convenience. Ah. They don't understand the car trips. Like <laughs> yeah. exactly. car is yeah. convenient yeah. for yeah. them. It's an yeah. inconvenience. Yeah. They don't understand that they're, they're trying to sell a service. They right. think that the they're doing us the customers a favor. A favor. Yeah. Yeah. So they need to also re-educate. Like it's a long, long process that has to be like into your final words each on the subject of hostility um, and uh, I would customer say service. If you're running a business, it doesn't matter whether it's hospitality or anything, retail, focus on being customer centric. I mean, yeah. Put the customer first. Mm. That's it. Mm. What mm. she said. So, I mean, the system, everything uh, doesn't work out the way it's supposed to do. So, as a business owner, make sure that whatever service you're providing is always five star, regardless of all the inconsistencies and challenges around you. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, uh, and we also want women to give five-star services. <laughs> when a man is asking for, for a number, when a man is asking for a number, you know, don't give five-star reactions. Name is Jay. Uh, <laughs> take, take him off. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. And yes, uh, GTA, sorry, uh, not GTA, it's a uh, forestry commission forestry that commission. owns, uh, man, manages, man. Um, okay. uh, when I like to use one or people are angry. No, we were Small Use. Small lies. Because we know the truth, and then you were saying something different. That's, I was but that's, that's, but that's, but that's, that's, that's how a boy is. So like, a boy comes to you and tells you he has, but he doesn't have yeah, anything. Yeah, that's what I'm not talking about. On that note, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> Jay, thank you so much for being here with us. We had an amazing time with you. And we're we'll back at the same time tomorrow. Miss G and Cyril, <laughs> we are off to eat uh, kinky and what? Um, the cats. The cats. <laughs> <laughs>